All right, guys, it's the People's Computer Repair Man. Today, we're going to go over how to repair the bottom part of an iPhone 5S. Now, what I recommend you use is safety glasses, ESD 13 tweezers, a pick, flathead screwdriver, Isesimo, and Katawana heat gun. As you can see, we are applying the heat to the broken part of the phone. Now, this phone is likely to shatter very easily, and heating the iPhone too much may cause it to break. I highly recommend you wear safety goggles and be careful where these glasses fly because they will explode and fragment off. As you can see, we are prying the glass away from the bezel. It is rough, so we apply more heat. Be careful here because the aluminum backing of this phone will be hot and you can be burned when you handle it. Scrape the glass up as if you would, uh, you know, anything that is uh, laying on the table. But do be careful. As you start to pry away the glass, you're going to see some resistors, capacitors, uh, little different things. These delioids, as I call them, help make your iPhone an iPhone. And if you fuck them up, then basically you've damaged your phone and rendered it useless. Now, North Mississippi's computer repairman can do this job for you for $30 labor, $10 part. This is a $40 job. Don't forget to check out North Mississippi Computer Repair on Facebook. As you can see, the way this thing is fragmented, it can be a real booger. It can be a real pain in the ass. There's also adhesive in there. So uh, be sure, if it starts getting crazy, to get the heat gun on it. You got to use the heat gun. You got to burn it down. And don't quit either. Winners never quit and quitters never win. Here you see we're trying to get this one piece of glass out and it flew off and it cut me on my face. It flew off at warp speed. I could not find out where it landed. Could have landed in the bed. Could have landed in the dog dish. Could have landed in the baby's formula. We do not know. So, you know, these things will fly off incredibly fast if you're, if you're picking at it. And I also got to tell you, you'll get micro dust. I recommend you wear protective gloves and a protective dust mask because the stuff will condense and uh, mortify into powdery resin. As you can see, we're chopping it up. We're, we're accruing a little pile of debris here. Picking down to the last one with the sesamo. It's a good tool. I sharpen mine on concrete. <clears throat> Here we are. We're fidgeting the last of it. We're going to blast it with a little heat from the Katawa gun. Blast it with the heat. Now it is hot to the touch, people. You don't want to get burned. We're going to pick this last little piece of shard out. You just got to keep working it. It works when you work it, people.
You just got to keep working it. And now we're getting down to the last few pieces. You can blow on it. Scrape off the last of the adhesive. And you're about ready to mount your piece. Now the pieces cost about five bucks. You just rub it and make sure that it's clear. Here you go, open your piece. Don't drop it, it'll crack easy. Peel your piece off. Don't fuck up the bottom part. And stuff it right in the hole and it fits right in the bezel. There you go, just rub it. Rub it, and then I like to slather it on there with the uh, leather end. And there you have it, folks. Your iPhone 5S is fixed in six minutes.